I just, I have to let you know, Sports Illustrated, you know, you, you know, it's still, it's that magazine, you know, I guess they're not really known for their rankings, but, um, we need to, we need to see these ranks that they just posted about an hour ago. It's, it's the, it's March 21st, 2023. The Jets do not even have um like a considerably a good quarterback on the roster right now i mean like they're acting like that trade already went through there's still a standstill so there's no guarantee that that trade's even gonna happen and even if it does jets might be like nine or ten maybe maybe they are not five. Like, since when do you just get a quarterback and become at least the fifth best team in the NFL? Like, you just stick to making magazine covers because, I mean, deciding ranks, it, it's, I mean, you're just throwing in a wild card just to, like, get clicks, and it's like the trade didn't happen yet. Like, this... This is a throwaway ranking. This is like your little cousin Jets fan just made this ranks just to piss someone off. Like, all right, just hand the Jets the AFC's crown for the for the off season, and then when the real season kicks in, you know, like, and they, you know, become like the thirtieth or thirty first, you know, team in the league, you know, and not even close to fifth best, you know, I'm gonna come back to this video and this rank, and I'm gonna be like. Hey, even when that trade went through or didn't even go through, this is what Sports Illustrated put out. And then let's see the like opponents, you know what I'm saying? Like Commanders. I don't think they're better than the Commanders. I don't think they're better than the Eagles. I could see them losing to the Falcons. They will lose to the Chargers. They will lose to the Chiefs. And this is with Aaron Rodgers, even at their best. Maybe beat the Texans. Not gonna beat the Bills. Probably not the Dolphins. Might, might you might beat the you might beat the Patriots. So tops through eight games. That's like that's it's, it's nine games. So. Two wins, like, I mean, Cowboys, yeah, you might win that. Three wins, maybe, so Giants probably going to lose, so still three. Denver Broncos, you know, you might get away with a win there. You never know. We'll just, you know, after the Browns, we'll just say you, you probably stacked up one surprise dub, so that's like five. Five wins. But the Raiders, I don't, you know, what what's going on with the Raiders? You might get six there, you know. That that'll be six. So you're going in. You have six wins. <laughs> you have three games left. The Bills are gonna beat you again, and the Dolphins. You might beat. You might beat the Dolphins. But we're gonna say that they beat you, and we're at top still like six wins. And let's say you beat the the the, the Patriots who are tanking. So that would be seven wins. And if you steal. One, two, maybe three. That's ten wins. Bills are going to finish with more than ten wins. I don't know if you're new to this. But the Bills are like decades better than the Jets. I don't think it, they can reorganize a roster over an off season and acquire a mid-quarterback in his descending you know, years. And just say they're the best team in the AFC East. I think this is just hilarious. Okay. Now back on to my other point. Jalen Hurts, as we're watching this uh, highlight reel, he's not a $50 million a year quarterback. I know that the situation, like, kind of, like warrants you 
the Eagles to pay Jalen Hurts fifty million a year. But Eagles fans don't want him to take fifty million a year. They they know that their roster is gonna be locked up forever. And they know that he probably can't win it by himself if it's just him on his roster and people have to, you know, dip out because he has fifty million dollars a year. So even Eagles fans know that he's not worth it, but they'll still say, pay him though. But how much? I mean, if, if I'm him, you take 30 guaranteed or something a year and just let the rest go into send incentives or whatever you want to call it. I don't think he's even close to 50 million a year. I think that's unreal. Um, next, I mean, I wouldn't guarantee him 30 million a year either, honestly. I would just say just keep, keep it at like 30 million a year if you're the Eagles. But, you know, he wants the bag. And I don't know if he'll walk, but even if he walks, he's not getting $50 million a year. I mean, he knows that. The Eagles know that. But I don't think they'll make him walk. So, they're going to have to pay him $50 million a year. But this is when we look back and say, wow, Eric was right. Jalen Hurts is actually pretty good, but not $50 million a year good. Like Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. He's not that level, and he'll prove it. And I'll prove that because I see it. Next, Daniel Jones. I think he got like forty million a year. He already got paid. Yeah, not even close to forty million dollars a year. He's like thirty million, maybe twenty twenty million, because he's like a backup in my opinion. I think he's like a backup. So I don't know. I don't really need to convince you why Daniel Jones isn't worth $40 million. I know even Giants fans know he's not worth $40 million. So, yeah, and like that throw right there, that was like a really bad throw. That could have easily got intercepted if that cornerback just turned around. Like, he's just, he's, he's mid, bro. Both these quarterbacks are mid. So I'm going to be looking back on this video and like, damn, I'm, I was 3 for 3. The Jets still stink with Aaron Rodgers. If anything, probably set them back a year. And, you know, I was right that Jalen Hurts wasn't worth $50 million, or I predicted that he would get $30 million instead. You know, I'm going to be right about either or. And that Daniel Jones isn't going to work out for the Giants. I mean, it doesn't really take a fortune teller to tell you that because I think we all know that. So, well, that's all I had to say. And I think the Eagles are still going to be good next year, but they're not going to be... They might be, like, borderline playoff eligible is what I'm thinking. So, Giants might miss. They might miss, in my opinion. They might. Uh, Bills are going to win it all. All right. Peace. Catch you now.